Hi, if you are facing the issue when you install the Smart PTT applications using Windows Administrator's account and everything is working, or you can see in this case, but when you switch the, to operators users accounts on Windows, those operators Windows accounts are not able to connect the application to the SQL database. In this video, I'm going to show you two possible ways how to fix this issue. First, we are going to review our connections. We go to Settings, Database. How you can see, we are using a local installation for the SQL database, and that's why it's easy to make all the changes. And we are using Windows Authentication to establish the connection, and we already created the database Smart PTT for the console. We click Finish. We are going to open our SQL Management Studio on Databases. We can see the monitoring, radio server, and the Smart PTT database for the console. In this computer, we already installed the radio server as well, and is connecting to the monitoring and radio server database. On security, logins, we can see all different logins possible for this connection. Now we are going to log out and log in as a regular user. Before to switch to the regular user account, let's close the applications on this administrator account. Go to Windows, select the user. In this computer, I set up another two regular users. Uh, we are going to select the Smart PTT01. It's going to be one of the accounts for the operator. Let's log in. And we are going to pretend that we are the, the operator using this Windows account. Let's try to open the application. The application is, try, is going to try to connect to the database. As you can see, the application is presenting the same request to establish connection again to the database from scratch. So we are doing the same local host a connection in this computer, Windows authorizations. Uh, let's try to create a new database. And um, before we are going to check if the current database, the list is empty, so it's not detecting the Smart PTT database. Create new database by default. It's going to select the same name, Smart PTT. We are going to click Save, and we got the error message: failed to create database. Create database permissions, the nice in the database master. So we don't have the permissions to create the database. Um, I just want to remember that this message is coming from the SQL database and it's not the Smart PTT application that is not able to open, it's the Windows account. So let's finish. We keep seeing the error message that is not any selections on the database. Let's close the configuration. Now we are going to open the SQL Management Studio. And we are going to confirm that even using the SQL Management Studio with this Windows account, how you can see here, SmartPTT01, this Windows account is not going to be able to make any changes on the database. Let's connect. Let's look at the databases. We can see the monitoring, radio server, and the Smart PTT database that we are trying to connect from the console. If we go to security, logins, we are missing a few login options and we got only built-in users. So let's try to increase the, the priority or user status on the built-in users. Let's go to Properties, Servers, Rules, and we are going to try to set these built-in users as a system administrator. When we select and we click OK, uh, the SQL Management Studio presents us this message that is not able to make any changes because you don't have the permissions. So now we confirm that it's not only the Smart PTT application, 
is also the SQL Management Studio and both are using the same Windows account. Let's click OK. We got the same message again and let's log out from the SQL Management Studio. Now we, have, we are going to go back to the um, Windows Administrator account to start to fix this issue. Now that we are back on the Administrator account, Windows Admins account, let's open the SQL Management Studio and we are going to take a look at the first option to fix this issue. We are going to connect the SQL Management Studio using the Admin account. Connect. We are going to go to Securities, Login. We are going to look for built-in users. Properties, Servers Rules, and we are going to select uh, Build in Users as a System Administrator. How you can see, we click OK and it's no any error message. We are going to disconnect, close the application, and we are going to go back to the same operator account. Let's use the same Smart PTT01 account. And we are going to try to log in one more time using this account. The application starts to look for the database connection. As you can see, uh, it's not asking me anymore is not presenting anymore the uh, database settings we are gonna place the password and now this user account is able to select the channels slot number one and slot number two and the whole application is up and running. How uh, we can see here in the database, we are using the same local host um, SQL Express using Windows Authentication, and the settings is detecting the same Smart PTT database that we create on the admin account. Let's close finish. Let's close the application, and let's confirm using the SQL Management Studio in this uh, user account. Let's connect to the database. Again, we look for the database. We got the three databases on security, login. Now we got all the options or different options on logins. Let's disconnect the app. SQL Management Studio and now we are going to go back to the admins account and take a look on the second option. Now for the second option we are going to open again the SQL Management Studio and we are going to create a SQL users and we are going to modify the server to accept Windows authentications and also uh, SQL authentication. Let's connect with the admins account. First we go to the server properties on security we are going to enable both authentications the SQL servers and Windows authentication mode. We click OK and the server is going to tell us that we need to restart later to apply the changes. Let's go to security, logins, and built in. I'm going to disable in properties and server rules. I'm going to disable assistant admin just for demonstrate that it's not affecting on the second option. Let's go on logins, new logins. We are going to place a name, let's say OP for operator, you can place any name. 
SQL Server's authentication. Let's place a password. I disable the expirations of the password. Server's rules. We are going to increase this operator or account for system administrator and we click OK. Now we got the operator's accounts or any other account to connect to the database. Let's restart the server to apply the changes. Now that the SQL Server is up and running again, I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to test the OP account on the um, admins Windows account. So let's see over here, database, Windows authorization, I'm going to switch to SQL authorization, my user was OP and I'm going to place the password. Establish connection and how you can see it's working fine it's detecting the database if I click finish the application is telling me that I need to restart to apply the changes Now that we know that the OP account is working fine, I'm going to close the applications on the Windows Admins account. And I'm going to log in again with the SmartPTT01. And we are going to test the application. Now we confirm that the second auction is working. We got complete access to the application and the application is working fine. It's totally connecting to the radio infrastructure. Both ways are okay. And now we are gonna log out. Let's go back to the admins account. SQL Management Studio, let's connect again, security, login, and now we are going to apply both changes. So now the built-in users are system administrator and our new user OP is system administrator as well. Let's confirm. Click OK. I believe we don't need to restart the servers at this point. And let's do it just to make sure we apply the changes. OK. Let's disconnect. Let's go back again to the operator user.
Let's open the application. The application is connecting. We check the database. The application is working on the local host using the SQL authentication. If we switch to Windows Authentication and we click Establish Connection, it's detecting the Smart PTT applications as well. We can click Finish and it's going to ask you for restart just to start the applications in Windows Authentications. I hope this video um, resolved the issue for you and remember that we are testing the SQL in our local host is in the same computer if you are facing this situation in a remote um, SQL connection please confirm with the SQL manager to make the changes or verify the privilege on the accounts thank you so much